Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you an art journal page and I start here on a gesso page and I use the dilution paint. I start with uh, yellow and an orange and go farther with greens and blues and at the end violets um, on the uh, follow the the uh, colors on the wheel to have a nice um, color combination and not get in mud just in case. So I put it down with my fingers and I went up and down right and left so it looks quite messy. I didn't want to have it in a very precise and um, smooth or clean way. So clean way is better. This is the blue and at the very end I use this violet. This is that one, a very, you yeah, like pudding, but it works. As you can see, it works. I haven't got a problem with that. And I want when I want to have it thinner down, I will uh, use a bit of water. So this is a die cut I use. And as you can see here, I will cut out, I think I get three on each row but I have to cut it off because my um, die cut machine off is not taking that wide pages. So here yeah, I assemble it, try to find out how to layer them best. And I do, um, I lay them always in uh, this, uh, I swap them, you know, first start with a short die cut and then the next one I start with a longer die cut so that I get a variation. <coughs> And it, I didn't want to have it um, looking boring or this confirm that you have the houses all on the uh, in one row on the same side. So the background I wanted to have the background not standing out because I didn't want it to compete with the foreground. The foreground is very very colorful, so I decided to have it grey. On the bottom I first used the green, but I will change that because I didn't like it. And I will go on with the same what I've uh, done on the top, and that's paints grey with white. And I use the same loose um, brush strokes, and you can see here, it really didn't work to me. No, I didn't want it. And um, as I said, I didn't want to have the background very obvious, didn't want to have it compete with um, the foreground. So, and I didn't fill in the middle because you won't see it. I will cover it anyway. I will cover up a lot, so, but I didn't know. I didn't want to measure how far I have to paint, so it was easier like that. And I use my um, rub-ons up. Oh, I would still try and I haven't, I have so many. <laughs> and put them all into the background on top on on the bottom and it's actually the words inside they haven't got a meaning I use uh, bigger ones smaller ones to me it has something to do with the city I'm um, putting down you know the <clears throat> city is loud and and it's screaming right into your face and that's what the words should stand for you know the bigger ones and smaller ones and that's the only meaning. So the word itself hasn't got any meaning, only the size and the darkness. So assemble it again to know how um, uh, how far I have to put them up and down to have an equal sort of uh, bottom and, and uh, upper part. And at first I put some etching with the black a uh, big brush pit pen and then I glued down. Gave me a bit of a hard time because I use watercolor paper and of course that's a bit sturdier and it needs to be pressed down properly. I didn't cut the um, lower parts up because it gave it, ex I think it gave it extra dimension so I left it on to um, 
yeah, I, I will cover it up anyway, you won't see it, but it gives it really a lot of dimension. And I don't mind because my art journal is big enough, it can take it, so why not go in really dimensional. So that's it, the last bit, and um, I will cut off the hanging over parts. You can see that was my first page I showed in my Mixed Media Art Channel. And, but this will be the first because I worked on the other one on the reverse because the watercolor there is much smoother. So a bit of um, black line under it with a big brush pit pen. And here I use my Stabilo all and give it a bit of dimension shading on the right side. I go over the whole edges on the right and I won't use water to blend it out because I didn't want to water it down. I use instead a blending stump, you can see me using here, and go over it. And I think um, that gives it quite a bit of depth. I will go even, yeah, blend it out even more afterwards you can see that. Then on the other side to highlight I use the white Stabilo. I always first thought about using a white marker but that I think would have been too white, too light. I did only wanted to have the hint of a white reflection on that side. And I leave it, I'm not touching it so I'm not using a blending stump to do that but I use it on that side as I said um, to give it even more shading, more depth, and that works quite well. So, and I wanted to have a bit of glitter on that page, so I use my Spectrum Noir glitter pen in clear and go over the houses, but only on top of it. And that you won't, you will see it soon. I will show you the camera can pick it up a bit, but not while I put it down. You have to tilt the page a bit, right and left, then you will see it. That's what I will show you now. And when I get the right light, yeah, that's it. That looks absolutely nice. Not too much. And didn't want to overdo it. So now I will put down the word. I go in with a pencil first and then go over with a white Sharpie. And that's, um, it says about um, it. It means the city, of course. And it was never built for the comfort or happiness of its citizens but to astonish the world. And I think that's completely wrong. You can have a city that astonished the world, but where people could live in happily. And that's what I want to show with my colorful city lines here, uh, skylines. This um, pen I use for outlining the white letters I only use to try it. It's uh, I have it fairly new, and um, it's not new new. Durvant made this graphic uh, quite for a long time, but I was thinking should I buy it or not, and I quite like it. It's this nil point nil five, and but, and the tip I think the tip is much stronger than the uh, micron ones. So this is the close up already. Here you can see the sparkle again. So at the end you will see some pictures and so far I thank you a lot for watching and um, I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun. I wish you a fantastic time guys and I hope I see you with my next video. So bye bye then.